Hey guys, welcome back to the code mat. Uh, today's problem is cheapest flash within uh, case stops. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, please do subscribe. We solve a lot of competitive problem. Let's start with the problem. What problem says is there are n cities uh, connected by m flights. Each flight starts from city U and arrives at uh, V with the price W. Okay. Now, given all the cities and flights together with the starting city as a source and destination city as a DST. Uh, your task is to find the cheapest uh, price from source to destination with up to k stops if there is no such route uh, then we need to return output as a minus one so what we want is we have a given one uh, uh, network of uh, different flights and uh, having a what is a so what is a price to travel from uh, city u to v okay and we need to find out uh, what what could be the minimum uh, price path with the case stop from source to destination so now let's understand with the example so here for n is equal to 3 this is what the age is given to 1 so 0 to 1 it will be 100 price uh, from 1 to 2 it will be 100 and then 0 to 2 will be 500 and we want source as a 0 so from here and destination as a 2 so there are two uh, paths here one is 0 1 and 2 and uh, other is 0 to 2 so if you calculate the cost between uh, with the k is equal to 1 uh, we have uh, we can have one stop at least okay so in that case this one having a, a price will be 200 and this one having a price 500 so output should be uh, 200 because this one is higher than the what uh, we have uh, the other path the second example now here we have reduced k is equal to zero so we want a direct flight we do not want any stops in between so in that case our output will make change or output will change because uh, we do not want to stop anywhere okay so though we have one cheapest uh, uh, price path but uh, this one will be the correct path because we want direct uh, path okay all right so from the given details and the examples it's a clear that it's a distrust a sort of path finding algorithm where we need to apply okay and what the constraint we have is in the distrust case we do not have this kind of a constraint where we need to add the stop okay so in that case we it always calculates between your source and destination uh, irrespective of how many stops we have but here we also need to add one condition that is a number of stops we should not uh, go beyond what we have given in the definition so now let's first understand the distrust uh, algorithm and then we will apply it on the current problem okay, all right all right now let's understand how distrust algorithm works okay so how it works is it always a processor node which is very close to your current nodes so let's say we we are your source is this node okay and let's say 4 is your destination node okay so we'll start from source and to reach from source to source is going to be 0 the cost is 0 so when we process a 1 we, we check the next two adjacent uh, vertex to the 1 which one is very close to the 1 so we will process that one first so here if you see 1 to reach 2 we have cost 200 and from 1 to 3 we have to we have cost 100 so we will process this 3 okay and to reach from 1 to 3 we will update that state is equal to 100 okay when you are at a 3 you will again see what all closest uh, vertex we have from the 3 and we will again a pick next uh, vertex which is having a minimum cost so 100 plus 150 is equal to 150 100 plus 100 200 so we will again pick this pick this vertex and update the state of it so to reach to we have vertex is equal to and vertex or cost is equal to 150 all right and the second from here again we will see what is the cost or what all connections we have from 2 to reach 4 okay from 2 we have 4 as well as 3 but 3 we will not update because this will again increase the cost because we have 150 50 but previously we already have 100 so here we will pick 170 because 150 plus 20 is equal to 170 okay and when we reach to the destination so that will have the minimum cost in the first item because every node we will always pick the 
vertex which is very close to the that node so that way it will always gives you the minimum cost so we will maintain a priority queue each time we will make we will entry or make entry to the your priority queue and this queue will do a ordering based on your cost all right so every time when you do an ent entry it will reshuffle the priority queue based on the what is a current vertex uh, vertex having the cost okay so let's say when you have this path when for two you have two paths 150 and 200 so it will first it will uh, give a precedence to the cost 150 because that is a less cost as compared to the 200 okay so in that way we will when you reach to the your destination it gives like guarantee that whatever the distance you calculated that that will have a minimum one okay so the same approach we can apply to the current uh, problem also okay the only constraint we have now is uh, here we we have a freedom to move uh, any number of vertex during your path okay for in this case our path is this is what our path all right but in our current problem we have to maintain a total number of should vertex in between this should have only k maximum we can go till k all right so in the priority queue what the other condition also we can maintain is let's say you are at a one you are at a source so at that time you have ultimately let's say k plus one stop you can add it when you reach to the three all right so you reduce your because you already have one uh, vertex you have you will add it okay so when you reduce at this level you will you will you will have let's say this step is equal to k plus one so when you reach to here you will reduce your step to minus one when you go here you will again reduce to the step to minus two all right and when you reduce when you reach to this you will again reduce to minus three in this whole cycle with the minimum cost you will we will also check whether uh, after reaching at this node our other condition which is also satisfying or not whether your steps or whatever the steps is still greater than zero or not because ultimately we have initialized it with a k plus one so ultimately when you reach to the destination it should have either k greater than or is equal to zero then only we can reach to the destination let's say in between here let's say uh, we have let's say in this case only let's take we have given a k is equal to two okay so in that case we started with a three all right our k reached to here it reduced to two over here it reduced to one and then it reduced to zero so in this case we can return a result is equal to 170 no issues with that now let's say we have changed our k to the one all right now when you reach to here your k is two oh sorry you reduce your k is equal to one so now we have our new k is equal to two from here you when you reach over here you have one when you reach here you have k is equal to zero so that means you can go till this path there is no way to go ahead of from there onwards because we have a restriction we do not have a next vertex as we can add it into our path so in that case we have to explore this vertex and in that case k reduced to zero and we can return a result for in this case 200 so that's the change we just need to add in our diastras algorithm otherwise uh, the logic is going to be same now let's understand the code for this all right now let's go through the code so what we first define is we, we are creating an adjacency list okay so for that we have created one map and then we are also storing uh, uh, the cost of it so we will iterate from the given flights data and then f of zero is what your source and uh, u then v uh, and then f of uh, two is going to be your uh, cost of it so what we are doing is we are creating a u and then uh, what is a v for that and then also we are storing in the 
uh, cost of it so we have created a map of map so we will store that adjacency data in the map so we will also create one priority queue which will hold the data of uh, your cost to reach that node then node itself and the uh, total number of stops be already uh, calculated to reach that node right and that priority queue having order based on the uh, your cost okay so the node which is having less cost will be on a top and uh, higher cost will be at the last okay now first we will add the source node with the cost is equal to zero id of that and the number of steps we have right now for that uh, for that node okay and then uh, we will iterate it over until we our priority queue gets empty now we will take that node and then we will take the data okay so we will check this is a uh, in a while loop so it will go for the other nodes also all right so we'll first check with the city whether the city is is what we are looking for the destination city if that is the case then return the price because we already accumulated the minimum one all right now also we will check the condition because now if this is not the true then we would like to explore all the adjacent to the the current city all right so what we will do is let's say you have a still you have a number of stops uh, greater than zero that means we can still go ahead of what current no current city is so in that case if this is the true then we will take a adjacent uh, all the adjacent list of those uh, cities which is from the current city so from the adjacent city we will take those maps and then we will iterate it over it and we will calculate the uh, what all new cities we can explore from the current city and we will add those to the priority queue now in while adding a priority queue you also have a current price of this city as well as you will add the whatever the cost to reach the next city that is a from current city is let's say city and the next city is a so to reach a we will add price of current plus price of a and then a and we will reduce the stops by one because we are moving to the next stop okay so this way when you reach this will be in a in a while loop until your priority queue gets empty you will iterate it over and then when you will reach this condition whenever it goes uh, true we will return that price okay in the else condition or if we were not able to find the path or minimum or the number of stops condition is not satisfying in that case we will return a minus one now let's compile this code all right so for the given data we have current your expected as well as the current is same okay now let's submit it all right it got submitted so that's it in this video hope you like it if you have a different uh, uh, solutions please uh, write it down in the comment thank you guys